the centenary for World War I, as well as her ties with both New Zealand and Australia, inspired her to write an Anzac story. And we are delighted to have with us Margaret Mahi, Book of the Year award-winning author Maria Gill. Maria, congratulations. Thank you. Now, firstly, your book, Anzac Heroes, has been praised for not only being hard to put down, but also for the meticulous research involved in it. How long did it take you to write? It was over a year. And when I say a year, it was working seven days a week, sometimes till midnight. So, yeah, it took a long time. And so how many people have you focused on in here? It's 30 uh, men and women in the book. Uh, there's uh, men who were in the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, as well as medics. And then there's five women and two Māori and two Aboriginal soldiers. S so each of these has a personal story? Yes. Wow, that's incredible. How did you narrow them down, who you were actually going to focus on? Well, I wanted people who had a really high level um, an award, like the Victoria Cross. And uh, I also wanted people um, in different battlefields. Uh, and um, whether they were in a prisoner or war camp, whether they um, died and the ones that made it back and the ones that lived a long life. So I'm, I was trying to get quite a range. Mm. I'm really fascinated when you do something like this as to what research you have to do. So how do you go about researching it? Where do you start? What's... Well, I started with the military records and, and so I could get some of those online. Some of them I went to the libraries and museums to look at them in, um, in real life. And um, I also read biographies. Some of them had biographies, but some of them had no, um, nothing written about them online or you know, no books. So I really had to be quite a detective to find their stories. And so where do you dig for that? Well, in the case of Albert Knight, the Aboriginal soldier, nothing online, no books. I could look at his battalion records to see what happened um, with his battalion um, while they were fighting. But um, while I was in Australia, I actually rang a whole lot of uh, Albert Knight's uh, family members, you know, looked in the telephone book under um, Knight uh, families in the Burke area in the middle of Australia, and I discovered um, quite a few family members. It took a, you know, I had six phone calls before I found someone and I was able to talk to them and they were able to tell me about his life beforehand and afterwards. What do you like about working with uh, Marco with these illustrations because they are incredible. He's a really talented young man. Um, we um, actually met, well we didn't meet, um, I had written an article for Massey University and they commissioned uh, Marco to illustrate it and when I saw his artwork I thought wow this young guy is really talented. And I was uh, writing a book called New Zealand Sports Hall of Fame and we needed an illustrator. And I said, what about this young guy? He's just out of university. His artwork's stunning. Let's give him a go. And, you know, his artwork's just been fantastic in this book and in the book before. And we're also going to do another book together as well. I'm interested to know actually what it is you really enjoy about writing for young people. Well, I used to be a teacher and so I... I want to inspire young people. I want them, um, you know, like to read these stories and think, you know, like if they can, they've had lots of obstacles. If they can achieve that with all those obstacles in place, you know, I can too. So, what would you say though? Some people, you know, think that it's easy to write for young people or even small children. It's not though, is it? It's not. No. I mean, I told you the hours I put into um, writing and the research, and you've got to be a person who doesn't give up. Like you get a lot of um, obstacles, like with Albert Knight you know, not being able to find anything. So I had to just keep, you know, ringing and, um, and looking in records to find information. You have to be really savvy too when you write for children, don't you, or young people, because they can spot a fake a long way away. And if you're writing down to, to them, they can tell, can't they? You have yes. to be writing on the level that they don't feel like they're being spoken down to. No, um, and you're looking for the essence of a person and you're, you're going to be writing about that person and, and, and take that right through. Uh, in the story and complementing it with illustrations, um, with graphics, like we have timelines, um, medals, uh, text boxes, because a lot of young boys can be reluctant readers and if they've got a text box they can just dip in and dip out and um, It'll start anywhere in the book if they want. That's exactly <laughs> right. Boys love books with lots of facts where they can dip in and out. Yeah. That is exactly right. Yes. So did anyone from the book contact you or did you get in contact with anyone from it or from their family? Well, obviously the family in Australia. Yes, and I also contacted the other uh, Aboriginal um, family. It took quite a while to find um, them as well and that was uh, World War... Uh, he was in World War Two, So he was a little bit um, easier to find. Um, I found his daughter and talked to her on the phone. What do they say? Oh, they were really excited um, that he was going to be in the book because there hasn't been much written about the Aboriginal soldiers um, from World War I and World War II. So, yeah, they were really thrilled. 
It's a beautiful book and it's got our big, mm. uh, well, famous, you know, Charles Upham, yes. um, Nancy Wake is in there too. I think it makes for a really intriguing read and the pictures are just beautiful. What's the next project? Well, uh, Marco and I are going to be working on a book called um, Anzac Animals. So we're looking at animals who that were in the war, whether they were mascots or pets or, you know, actually doing a job during the war. Sounds fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us. Maria's award-winning book, Anzac Heroes, is available from bookshops or online right now.